YouTube, how's it going? It's your guy Nutty Poo back with episode two of our Miami Marlins franchise, and this is an exciting one because, of course, it is opening day. For opening day, we are on the road against the Atlanta Braves, or actually, it looks like we're at home against the Atlanta Braves with Sandy Alcantara on the mound against Charlie Morton and the World Series winning Atlanta Braves. It's time to look, see how this new look Miami Marlins offense is actually going to play out on the field. So just to get you guys caught up, here are kind of how I'm going to run this moving forward. So we're going to play one game every two weeks. I'm going to do this first episode playing every pitch. We're going to have our hitting difficulty on Legend. We're going to be playing with zone hitting, but PCI turned off. Our pitching difficulty is going to be Hall of Fame. It should be a struggle to get some wins, which is good. That's how I want it to be. I want it to be difficult. I don't want to run around on the computer, so we're going to go ahead and do it that way. This first game, we are going to play every single pitch. Please let me know in the comments how you guys feel about that. We can always switch it over to quick counts if you guys want a little bit of a quicker video, but for this one, you know, it's opening day. Let's make it a big one. I'm, like I've said, I'm, I'm really looking forward to this YouTube series, so let's go ahead and get into it. If you guys haven't already, feel free to drop this video a like, and also drop uh, a subscription on the channel. We're over 2,000 subscribers. That last episode one of the franchise is doing really, really well, and I appreciate you guys for that. Let's go ahead and get into opening So like I said, we do have the Atlanta Braves on tap today, World Series champions themselves, which should be a good test for this young Miami Marlins team. We are playing at home for opening day, which is pretty cool, though. I always like playing at home. Uh, we're going to go come out right off the get-go and use our City Connects jerseys. So yeah, we're going to rock the City Connects jerseys for opening day. I love these uniforms, man. They, they have so much swag. I love them. And by the way, these are new in the game this year for MLB The Show 22. So if you guys haven't seen them before in game, here's your first look at them. But we're going to rock the, the uh, City Connects. And then, of course, Lone Depot Park. It's not my favorite park in the in the country, but it's okay. We, we love it because it's our home. Like I said, Sandy Alcantara on the mound. Trevor Rogers is our number two starter. Pablo Lopez, three. Sixto is four. And Hernandez is five. We ended up sending Jesus Lazardo down to AAA just because I want to see him develop a little bit more. I don't want to waste him as a long reliever, man. I think he could be a really, really good starter. So I want to get him some starter innings down in AAA. So Sandy Alcantara on the bump. Our lineup's going to set up like this. Brian De La Cruz in center. Jazz Chisholm hitting second at second. Jesus Aguilar playing first base and hitting third. Jorge Soler DH in for us and hitting fourth. Jesus Sanchez in left field hitting fifth. Avasel Garcia in right field hitting sixth. Joey Wendell at third base hitting seventh. Jacob Stallings hitting eighth. And Miguel Rojas hitting ninth. I like, I like the look of that. I think it's going to um, work out really, really well. Joey Wendell's interesting. He has that super high contact against righty, so that's where, why we're going to give him a try today. All right, let's get into it. I'm excited to see the new presentation stuff, honestly. I know they worked a lot on the presentation of this game, so hopefully it, it really shows up. Oh, that's hype. Starting with the opening day Star Spangled Banner. Oh, that's so sick. Yeah. With the flag? Okay. I see you MLB the show. The presentation's so nice. This is sick. Look at this presentation. I'm very happy that they decided to put some emphasis on presentation this year. I think it is going to make a big difference. Plus the new commentators, Bouchambi and Singleton. Okay, finished in the fourth, but those are decent team rankings across the board. Let's see if we can pick them up a little bit this year. Oh man, those City Connects look so good in game. That's sick. Alcantara on the mound. 33 starts, 9 and 15 record last year, 319 ERA. I think he can pick it up a little bit. He's primed for a breakout season. This year, we'll see if we can give it for him. Whew. 
it's been a long time since I've hit on Legends on this game. I did it last year for the franchise. Um, so we'll see if we can really come through. Oh, that's a dot, but we don't get the call. That's unfortunate. Alcantara is going to be good um, in real life. He, he's really going to need to be our ace in this year one. And I think he has that potential. Um, obviously, Rodgers is going to be kind of the future. He has that A potential. He'll be our number one piece eventually. Um, but he's going to need a little bit more seasoning. Obviously, had a really good rookie campaign last year making the all-star game. Ooh, Ozzy Albus fights that off. This is going to be one of those situations where the computer absolutely can get a hold of everything, can't they? Oh, my God, the vibration is making it so hard to place my pitch. Oh, no. Thank God for the shift there. I'm, I'm so excited that it's banned in real life, but it saved me there. Ozzy Albies took a huge hack on that. Dansby Swanson, next up for the Braves. Swanson, former first-round pick by the Arizona Diamondbacks. Dansby, one of the most attractive men in baseball. He should develop really nicely this year in real life. I think he's primed for a really breakout season. Obviously, had over 20 home runs last year. So, And then let me know, man. I like talking. I like kind of talking baseball as I go through these. But if you would rather hear the commentary more, just let me know, man. I can always uh, quiet it down, as they say. Oh, okay. And that's ball one. Ronald Acuna Jr., a guy who burst on the Oh, Acuna. Oh, buddy. Hey, hey, hey. He is one of the great talents in baseball right now. Okay. Let's see if we can get him with a four-seamer a little bit up and in. Okay, he, he kind of spits on that. That's crazy. See if we can dot him with the sinker down and in. Ooh, that pitch was not where we wanted it. Caught a little bit too much of the plate. He's able to foul that off. Let's go down and away with a four-seamer. All right. He grounds that out to Rojas at short. Should be an easy play. And just like that, the top of the first is over. Miami Marlins have a chance. Let's go get the bats going, boys. I'm here for this, man. This game feels so smooth, by the way, guys. If some of you guys haven't had the opportunity to play it yet, it, it feels so good. It feels so good. Man, Charlie Morton had a hell of a year last year. 14-6, 3 ERA. It's the opening day start for the Braves. I'd imagine mostly because a lot of injuries. But Charlie Morton's good. Former Bucko. I'm sad that they let him go. All right, Brian De La Cruz. I don't have my PCI turned on, so I can't see anything. That's a good pitch. Morton's bringing 97 out here. Okay. I see you. A little bit late on that. A little bit late on that. Didn't get my PCI to it either. This is going to take a, a couple innings of adjustment probably. I sometimes play without my PCI on DD, but, man, for the most part, it can be kind of rough. Good take. And it's two and two. All right. Come on, Brian. Super high contact. Get you on base. That's a good swing. I'm over top of it, though. Once again, that's just not being able to see the PCI. But I kind of like the difficulty it adds to the franchise games. It's not how I play on DD, obviously. But for franchise, I think it's good. Let's see if we can get something here with Jazz. Mm, good swing. I got to that. My PCI got to that, too. It's just not a good pitch to swing at, unfortunately. All right, Jesus Aguilar, we're getting in the meat of our order. A lot of power coming up over the next couple of batters. Good take on that. I really like that opening day presentation down on the score bug, too. I think it looks really, really good. Yeah, the right hander deals. That's a good swing. That's a good swing. Oh, he's able to make the play at the wall. Crashes into the wall. Adam Duvall. That was such a good swing by Aguilar. Gets absolutely robbed by a web gem by Adam Duvall. And just a little bit more on that, and that's leaving the park. 
and here is Matt Olson. Matt Olson, the new addition for the Braves, taking over, of course, for the face of the franchise, Freddie Freeman. That's got to be a difficult place for him to be in. But I love Matt Olson in real life, man. I think he's honestly one of my favorite non-pirate players, um, along with Jazz, of course. So I hope he can do really, really big things. I hope he puts a lot of balls on top of the chop house, personally. Oh, that hung, but he watches it. And that's a strikeout for Sandy Alcantara. Is that his first of the day? And Alcantara is cruising right now. He's looking really, really good. He has missed on a couple of pitches, though. That Ozzy Albies pitch is the, the big one. That should have been a hit for sure if it wasn't for the shift. Now it's Alex Dickerson. The right-hander back to work. I'm going to rely a lot on that curveball with this Alcantara. It moves so much. Ooh, good pitch. What are you going to do on that slider? Get the sinker down. Oh, God. That's going to get down. And that one ripped into right. Can't get there. Base hit. Takes the turn. He's digging for second. Ah, almost gets it there in time, but he's in for a double. Put that down the line. That's a good swing. I don't know where that pitch missed. Oh, it missed mid. That went center cut for sure. That's unfortunate. I wanted that to get a little bit more off the plate, but what do you do? Oh, God. Way to hold that. All right, Eddie Rosario, the uh, playoff hero last year for the Braves. He scares me, going to be honest. Mm. Alcantara does not have control of his fastball here for me. Give him a slider, see if we can get it. Okay. I want to go with the curveball here, but I'm actually going to go with the circle change. That's not a good pitch. Stallings is able to keep that one. Man, thank God we have Jacob Stallings back there. Oh, that's a bad call, Blue! Oh, that's my first walk of the day, but we should be out of the inning. That's a strike, man. That's a strike. Oh, no. No score here in the second. Oh, no. Load up. Headed for the plate. That's a good throw, but unfortunately it can't be Dickerson at the plate. And just like that, the Braves take a one nothing lead. And this, this is one of those situations where I'm so frustrated if I'm a manager because I got out of the inning. I should have been out of the inning. I got a bad call on a strike that absolutely messes me. There you go. Okay, we're out of the inning. We do give up a run there, but that's okay. That's frustrating, man. Adam Duvall, he makes the play to save uh, an extra base hit in the last inning, and then this time comes through to get the RBI, get them on the board. All right, let's see what we can do here. Jorge Soler, the World Series uh, champion himself, coming up to the plate. He hit that absolute tank shot in Houston that's become, like, just a meme because how viciously he swung at that. They're so good defensively, Atlanta is, too. Wow, that's crazy. Good take. All right, come on, Jorge. Come on, Jorge. Good take, 3-0. All right, we're going to sit here. I'm going to swing if it's a meatball. If it's not a meatball, we'll go ahead and let it go. Um... Good take. Nice four-pitch walk there. Jorge Soler gets on board with Jesus Sanchez. Chance to put together an inning here. Jesus Sanchez is going to be a big part of this rebuild. Only 24 years old, a potential. I need him to come through over the next couple of years. Him and Jazz, man, are the two big parts of this lineup for sure. Good take. Wow, Charlie Morton really struggling. Six straight balls to start the second inning. I'm just going to sit. I'm not going to swing until he shows me he can throw a strike, honestly. 
He can't. Seven straight balls to start the second inning. This is crazy. There it is. That's eight straight balls. He watched the first two batters he sees in the second inning. And now we have to do something, man. I'm going to take this first pitch once again. He's thrown eight straight balls. There's no reason to swing. And he finally throws a strike. That would have been a meatball, too, for Avasale. Avasale's first at-bat as a Miami Marlin. This could be a big time for him. Oh, I'm so late. That was a meatball, too. He threw that sinker up and elevated. My PCI is nowhere near it. Rip. I was say, swings underneath, I think, underneath that curveball. I think I slammed my PCI. That was nasty. Yeah, it was a little bit underneath that. Like I said, this no PCI really adds a different challenge on this, especially on Legend, man. All right, please don't hit into a double play. Good take. Charlie Morton has thrown a lot of pitches in this inning and a very few strikes. I think he, he's thrown 10 balls and three strikes in this inning. Oh, that's a bad swing. That should have been another ball. I should be up 3 nothing in this count right now. Oh, no. Can't swing at that. Woo! Just nowhere near that sinker. All right, that's fine. Line drive, at least it's not double play. Ooh, Jacob Stallings was so clutch for me in my Pirates franchise last year. Let's see if he can keep it going. Not on that swing. Good Lord. I'm biting a lot on um, Charlie Morton's curveball out of the zone, and he stopped doing that. Who does that? Gosh dang it. Cheetah's not going to be able to beat that out. And I absolutely muff two runners on there. Okay. Well, get back to the third inning here. Need Alcantara to have a quick inning, especially after how that last inning went. This is going to be a big, big inning for him. We'll see if he can get deep into this game or not, probably based on this inning. Nice. Sanchez gets over to that. That's an easy out number one. Dan's Bay. Dan's Bay. Alright, let's see if we can get the strike out here with the curveball. I feel like I have him really, really off balance. He spits on that though. That curveball is just has not really been super competitive in this outing. Okay. Um giving the sinker a little bit up. Whew, there you go. Let's go, Alcantara. Comes back with a big strikeout for out number two. Third strikeout of the day. We do have Ronald Acuna Jr. up now, which scares the poop out of me. All right, doesn't get that first call to go his way. That's okay. And that's why we are terrified of Ronald Acuna Jr. He takes Alcantara deep. And the Braves are up to nothing. Ah, Acuna got me. Man, that's frustrating. I love Acuna when he comes across home plate, though. His little signature animation. Boom. Yeah. God, that hurts. That's so unfortunate. Elevated fastball, Elevated fastball gets me. Now I'm going to get to watch it. Beautiful day in Miami, though. Barely gets out, man. That sucks. I did kind of center cut that fastball. Didn't end up where I wanted it to be. Now we have scary... Matt Olson up again, who obviously has big time pop as well. Oh, he's gonna hit against the shift. And that squirts through. Around he's running. For two. Throws to second, to ah, second. and the perfect throw isn't able to get him. That's such a bad swing. The wheels are kind of falling off here a little bit. The next pitch misses. Two balls, no strikes. 
Okay, take a take a step back here. Just throw a strike, please. That'll do it. That was not a good pitch. His fastball is all over the place today. All right, get him to swing there. Give him the curveball and set him down. There you go. Jazz should be able to make an easy play on that. And that's the end of the home half of the third. Man, Ronald Acuna got me there. He hits so hard, man. He swings so hard. It's crazy. All right. We need to get something going. Miguel Rojas batting. This new change for the NL, obviously, we'd have the, the pitcher hitting in this spot normally. But because of the rule changes this year, universal DH, which I'm super excited about. And that one fouled off. I'm going to keep it a buck with you guys. The shadows out to center field, not easy to deal with right now. Very, very difficult. Good take. This game does really look beautiful, though. They did a fantastic job on it. Okay, good take. Bro, I can't read the pitch out of his hand. It's literally being released right in that, like, bright area to the left of his head. Oof. Terrible swing. Ozzy Albies gets to that. I think it was way inside. I'm thinking about going back to turning my PCI on. This is this is actually ludicrously hard. Especially on Legend, man. No PCI on Legend. It'd be like that. That's a good pitch. Probably could have swung at that, honestly. Good take. 2 1 here to Brian De La Cruz. We need to get our offense going a little bit. It's not going well so far. Mm. I barely missed that too, PCI wise. Whoo, fight that off. All right, we're going back to a PCI. <laughs> I thought we could do this. We did it last year, but I'm not used to hitting on 22 yet enough to make this happen. So we're going to go back to PCI here. Good take. Good take. Here we go. Let's go. So, guys, I don't know if you've noticed by now, but we are really going to do very little editing in these franchise videos, mostly because I think it's a really cool experience to see first pitch to last pitch. Oh, I swung under it. That's a meatball. Dropped my PCI so bad. But yeah, first pitch to last pitch really is a good experience, I think, in franchise modes, especially in baseball, where you kind of know what you're getting into, right? When you, when you click on a video um, for baseball, like... Baseball is a slow sport. There's a reason reason why they're trying to speed up the pace of play. I'm assuming these videos are probably going to be if we don't do if we use quick counts, they'll be like 45 minutes. If we do use or don't use quick counts, they'll be closer to an hour probably. Oh my god, that curveball didn't break into the zone. This is this is hard. This ball's coming out of Morton's hand quick. Left-hand hitter waits. That's such a good swing by Jazz, and it's just not going to get down. Oh, got my PCI there. Everything. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? All right, Jesus Aguilar. That's a bad swing. There's no excuse for that. Wow, Aguilar was a waiver claim? I had no idea that was a thing. He's turned into a really, really good piece of this Marlins team, though. I'm really struggling to see the ball out of Charlie Morton's hand here. Let's see if this helps a little bit. Change the, the batting view just a little bit. It does not. <laughs> I don't know. I, I actually think that might be worse. It feels like I'm making excuses for not being able to hit right now, but in all actuality, I really can't read the pitch. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Got to hit that. Hey, Zeus. 
Are we getting no hit right now? We are. Oh, God. Not to add that stress on top of things. You're currently getting no hit by Charlie Morton. Fights that off. Nice job. Those inside fastballs, I'm happy he's not relying on that because that's so hard to hit in MLB The Show. Good take. Way to battle there, Jesus. Uh, has Charlie Morton up to 51 pitches in the third inning. That's massive. And now we have Jorge Soler up. Woo! Lays off that. I wanted to swing, but I did not. Can we get a two-out rally going here? We could really, really use getting one more. We could use a run here. Like, one hit into the outfield should score. So, I don't know, man. We'll see. We'll see. That was it. That sinker is really hard to read. Good take. All right, 3 1 to Jorge Soler. Jesus Sanchez coming up. Potentially could have the bases juiced, which would be huge. Ah. Where's my PCI? Didn't move it. Okay. Good take. Let's go. Hell of an at bat there for Solaire, and he's able to work. The base is juiced. Play, Sanchez, please. Good take, okay? Charlie Morton seeming like he might have some nerves here. That's a terrible pitch for that first first pitch. Can't get down to that. It was a little bit late. Also, my PCI just was off of it. That's fine. Oh, I can't be late on that, dude. Those inside fastballs are literally the hardest pitch to hit in this game, without a doubt. Oh, I got bailed by an animation. Definitely swung at that. Whew. All right. Let's get it. 2-2. Two, two. This is a good battle. Good take, 3-2. All right, this is a ske <laughs> sketchy situation all of a sudden. Come on, Jesus. Oh, he misses with it. Let's go. Charlie Morton walks in a run, and it's 2-1. to one. Holy shit, I can't believe I didn't swing at that. That cutter was, that was so hard to lay off. Whew, I would say I was swinging at that one. Can't get to it. Am I still getting no hit? I am. <laughs> I'm, I'm getting no hit, but he's giving up a run. Oh, I would say L. <sighs> we cannot swing at those, buddy. We cannot swing at those. For the second time, I leave runners on base. I am just not coming through when it matters. This is all bad. Gosh, dang it. I should be in control of this game right now. Oh, damn. Hell of a hit there by Alex Dickerson. He's really getting me in this game. That's his second hit. Akintara, he hasn't been bad, but he just hasn't been sharp with his pitches for me so far in this game. Oh, that's a good double play ball, though. Maybe not. Let's go. Turn the double play out of baby Jazz. Let's go. Need that double play. Jazz looks so swaggy in this game, too, with the glasses and the mitt, everything. He gets soft contact and he gets out. Duvall at the plate now. All right, Adam Duvall scares me too. He obviously has some power potential. He almost showed me it right there. That does get foul though, thank God. Good pitch. Uh, let's go circle change. I haven't used this much in this game. But it's a, it's a really effective pitch, man. It feels like a lot of these like live series pitchers got circle changes. Instead of regular changes this year. I don't know why that is. Alright. See if we can get him with the sinker and get out with a quick inning here. 
He's on that, man. These guys like this that have so much power look forward to seeing them hit the ball a long way. But if you're in the stands, oh no, get to that jazz. Holy shit, what a play by Jazz with the spinning. <laughs> the spinning okie doke there out at second base and is able to get it over to first to finish that inning. We literally are still getting no hit, though. I need to change that. Need to change that in a hurry. That's such a good swing. Oh, no. Now I'm starting to get nervous, man. I can't get no hit in my first game of this Miami Marlins franchise, please. Good take. That was such a good swing by Joey Wendell. That's unfortunate. Jacob Stallings up now. Oh, that's a bad swing. That curveball looks so juicy out of Morton's hand, and then it falls off the table. Good take. Good take. 3-1 to Stallings. Morton's really, really struggled with his control in this game. He's given up a lot of locks. That's another one. Unfortunately, we have Miguel Rojas coming up now, who is just not a very good offensive player. So we'll see if we can work something here. That's a terrible cutter to swing at. Wow, Miguel Rojas has been in Miami for a really long time. Drop my PCI, rip. He's really trying to stay back for something off speed. That's why he was so tardy on that swing. And the right hander deals. Mm. Swings and fouls one off. That's frustrating. We will get to the back of the order here. Brian De La Cruz, you know. Oh, nope, never mind. Just kidding. Ground into a double play instead. That is the old commentary commentary uh, curse there. Say we're going to get to the top of the order and then immediately ground into a double play. We are still getting no hit here. We still have a lot of energy here with Alcantara. Only 63 pitches on the day. We'll probably top him around 90 or so. I don't know if I want to take him to 100 pitches, especially on opening day. But once again, the, the one issue with this Marlins team is they do not have a very good bullpen. So, mm, simple to fight that off. Wow. Well, you can't really adjust your game plan for that last pitch. Guy hasn't thrown it very much. You got to focus on the stuff that he's throwing up there most of the time. All right. Uh, let's give him another curveball here. Ooh. Snaps a bat. Jazz should make the play. He does. All right, that curveball did not end up where I wanted it to end up, to be honest. So that was a little bit scary. Okay, we missed there. That's okay. Left-hand batter waits. Oh, there you go. Into the shift again for Albies. Chisholm's able to get there and make the play. Let's go, Jazz. You like Jazz? As our guy Shelfie would say. Nope. Good pitch. I'm going to go ahead and give him another slider. Just move it up. All right. That's fine. Let's go fastball up and away. Next offering upstairs. Oh my god, this ump is absolutely cucking me here. Bro, that there's no shot, right? That that should have been a strike. Oh my god, and then I give up uh, probably a double. Nope, just a single. But now we have Acuna coming up. Oh. That was a good swing. Curveball hung in the zone just a little bit too much. We're going to start Acuna with a breaking pitch, and then we're going to give him a second breaking pitch. Ooh, we get that call. Okay. Great pitch. One, two, three to Ron Acuna there to end the inning. Doesn't let it get away from him out of baby Alcantara. He's had 
a decent start. It, it's not been great, not been terrible. It's very decent, very strong. Bro, I, I need to get a hit, though. Definitely one of the best arms of the sport. Hey, had a baby. Yeah, the infielders and the catcher can never give up on a play because if this guy thinks he has a chance, he's going to throw Gosh, a dang it. track if he has to. Man, he was really tardy on that fastball. Great job of setting him up by throwing the curveball. That's just a great set of pitches there from Charlie Morton. Don't do anything with him. All right, Jazz Chisholm back. He's 0 for 2 on the day. Third at bat in the fifth inning, though. You would think we're hitting well. We're not. We're getting no hit. We've had a lot of walks. Really, really good patience in this game to put up a run. Good take. I'm going to be honest. The, the shadows, uh, I know it sounds like an excuse, but the shadows in this stadium are ruthless. Like, literally, his release point is dead ass in that center field like uh, bright light there and it makes it so hard to read his pitches oh my god Charlie Morton is cruising me right now still getting no hit through five innings get through get through get through no oh my god still getting no hit going into the sixth inning no hitter, no hitter, no hitter, no hitter, no hitter, please. No hitter. Wow. Perfect swing right right through the shift for Matt Olson. I don't know where to go here, man. All right, I, I could really, really, really use a ground out here for Austin Riley. Ground into GIDP would be big time here. Or strikeout. We'll take that. That's fine. So he's got deep into this game. And at least so far, not showing a ton of signs of fatigue. Dickerson. Didn't get that call. Dickerson's killed me. He's uh two for two on the day. The next pitch misses. And that's ball two. So I'm using a power A controller since the Xbox controllers have some issues. Uh, with um, like pinpoint pitching, the dead zones are really rough. But the Power A controller is so light that when my controller rumbles, it makes it darn near impossible to place a pitch where I wanted to go. Like it's so rough. Here's Eddie Rosario, Alcantara, back to work. Good pitch. All right, come back with the circle change here. Not a good pitch. See if we can get the slider past him. Back foot. Okay. Sinker down and in. That's a good pitch. That's a really good pitch. Let's see if we can get him to chase the fastball up and out of the zone. There it is. Great pitch. Let's go, Alcantara. He's rolling. He's having it's it's getting becoming a better and better start. He's given up seven hits and two runs, but really he's worked himself out of every situation he's put himself in, basically. Okay. It seems like the shadows might have shifted a little bit. Jorge Soler up to bat now. Nope. Right back to the pitcher. My PCI has been super, super scuffed today so far, too. Hazy Sanchez. We're still getting no hit through the sixth. Rips it straight to Austin Riley. That's just been my luck so far in this game. All right, come on, I have a sale. one lifted in the air left field and that is the inning i can't get anything to drop bro i'm gonna get no hit in the first episode of our franchise series it can only the positive right is it can only go up from there we've thrown 95 pitches with alcantara i'm gonna see if he can go another inning that's more than i wanted out of him but um we're gonna go ahead and warm up anthony bass and zach 
pop here. If he puts a base runner on, we'll go to the bullpen. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. This is ruthless, though, chat. Like, I can't even believe this. I called you chat, but YouTube. <laughs> All right, see if we can get him to chase the fastball. Oh, no, that's not where I wanted that. Where are we, we're, we're starting to run low on energy. I might need to go away from Alcantara here. Hmm. He's, he's su running super, super low on energy here. Good pitch. All right, I think we're going to go to the bullpen here to try to get the rest of this. Travis Darno. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go ahead and do mound visit here just to give those guys in the bullpen a little bit more time. And then I think we're going to go to Anthony Bass. All right. Didn't have a great year last year. 3.82 in 61 innings. I guess that's not terrible. Has an interesting pitch mix. Obviously has that splitter, which we're going to probably try to rely on a lot. Pitch. Oh, that's a hell of a pitch. Just come out of the... Oh, great pitch. Let's see if we can get him with the splitter. <laughs> oh, Travis Darno, what are you doing, buddy? What are you doing? Outside. That's not outside. Oh my goodness. Oh, this ump is squeezing me so bad. Oh my goodness. You ump blue. Come on, man. This ump just put me in such a bad position on this. Fights that off. Let's see if we can get him to chase a little bit with a four seamer up and in. Good pitch. We're out of the seventh, but man, that umpire almost put me in a really bad position. We're going to go to Zach Pop for this next inning, too. Hopefully, we can get something going. Joey Wendell, bottom of the order, not feeling good. Charlie Morton's still rolling, getting a no hitter here. Oh my god, this is ridiculous. Looking to get the tying run on base. Get down. Get down. Get down. Ah, just foul. I haven't I don't I've only been on like a handful of pitches in this game, honestly. Oh, that's such a bad call! This umpire has been atrocious! What are we doing? Oh my God. I'm about to get ejected if I'm this manager. I'm going out there. I'm screaming at this ump. Just doesn't get down again. Pop up to Duval. What are you going to do? Now we're back to Miguel Rojas. We're running out of opportunities here, guys. Oh, that was a good swing. That cutter just, just early. Damn it. Alright, good take. Come on, Miguel. I could really use you to come through with a hit here, man. In the air, right field. Duval on his way over. Oh, thank God that got foul. And he also didn't make a diving play to make that happen. Whew. Right he deals. Rip towards oh, third. oh. Oh, Rojas not fast time. enough. Nice job to okay, still finish. getting no hit through seven. This is just everything you want plus more, right? There's no shot he makes contact with that. Go four seamer up and away. 
Got him. Thank you. I thought I wasn't going to get that call and I was going to kind of lose it. This ump has absolutely hosed me in this game. Wow. Ron Acuna hits the ball very hard. Imagine that. We all saw his hit hard, but how hard was it, Singy? That had to be 110 off the bat. 113 mile per hour off the bat for Ron Acuna. Goodness. Oh, please don't steal. Clearly, he sought out of the pitcher's hand, no problem. Olsen at the plate and takes high there. Righty delivers. Nope. Able to beat that out. Unfortunate. All right. This is sketchy, man. I don't think he steals third. So. Oh, she's. She's. Uh, let's see if we can get Olsen to swing. Oh, God. That's not a good pitch. Oh, my God. He's fighting it off. Good for him. Go back to that fastball up and in. Nope. Ah, and then I walk him. All right, at least the double play is in order. I need to get someone up in the bullpen here. I don't know if Zach Pop has it. I'd like to go to Richard Blyer here if, uh, if I can't get out of this. Okay. Offering misses. One and one. Runners at first and second with one gone. Okay, pitch. So now one and two. All right, give him the fastball up and in and see if we can get him to swing at it. But when you've got opportunities to drive in runs, you've got to expand the zone. He's capable of going out there and doing damage with it. Two two now. Okay. Only stays alive. Two two now. Three two. Please don't walk the bases loaded. He's going to have to challenge this hitter. Hitter's got to be ready. To All right, that's fine. I don't know if De La Cruz is going to be able to. All right, that's one perfect throw. Cooney doesn't go. That would have been two perfect throws, though. That would have been lit. All right, Alex Dickerson has killed me two for three in this game. Oh, my God. Please, Zach. Not sure exactly what tied him up there. Couldn't pull the trigger. And perhaps the best pitch you'll see in this at bat to hit. All right. Switch it up with the two, four seamer now from the sinker. Wow, that's a terrible call. We'll take it, though. Gets us out of the eighth. Still a one-run game. We're still getting no hit, though. That has to be the top of the top of the thing here is to get a hit. That's not a strike. Blue. Ah. Oh. Oh my God! Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, we're not gonna get no hit, chat. And they're gonna take Charlie Morton out. They have Will Smith coming in. Pinch runner here for De La Cruz. Who do I have on my? Do I have a? a I don't have anyone on my bench who can play center field. My birdie can. He's super, super fast. I don't really want him to come up with another opportunity here, though. Birdie's so fast, but he is not at all a good fielder in outfield, and I don't want him to play in center field. Now we're going to leave that. All right, Jazz lefty-lefty here. Not a great matchup, but that's fine. Okay, it's a good slider. Your base runner, you got to stay dialed in here. Look for anything in the dirt. Try your best to get in the scoring position. Next one misses, and now it's even one. He throws 91, 96, 81, 85 slider, and then the curveball. Okay. Next pitch is outside. He's home fans. Call me Hugh and Tyler Matzik up in the bullpen for the Braves. Really need Jazz to come through here. Just don't ground into a double play, honestly. Anything is okay past that. That's not a strike. God, this umpire has been atrocious. He's absolutely killing me here. He's putting me in such bad positions. Now I have to swing at that, even though that's a ball. 
because I really don't trust that the umpire is not going to call it a strike. That's a terrible swing, though. Okay. Well, now we have Jesus Aguilar coming up. This is a good matchup here uh, against the lefty. Ah, that's such a bad swing. This umpire has me just in a, in a pretzel right now. Kicks and deals. I'm under it and late. Damn it. All right. Jorge Soler could come through with a massive at-bat for me here, though, to be honest. Come on, Jorge. Come on, Jorge. This is where I need you, buddy. He, Jorge Soler was brought in for at-bats like this. Two outs, bottom of the eighth, down a run, a runner on base. Jorge, give something a ride. Good take. Come on, Jorge. Come on, Jorge. Three zero. Oh God, I I have to look to swing here. This is too good of a bat to take the walk. And that's why you swing, Acuna. Oh my God! You've got to be kidding me. Uh, perfect, perfect, absolutely ripped. Acuna's like four feet off the ground, makes the play. Oh, my God, that's so painful. There's no shot. I need to get Zach Pop out of this game, by the way. We'll go to Richard Blyer here. I can't believe that. That sucks, man. I can't believe that. Acuna absolutely robs me there. Rojas able to get over, make the play. Barely make the play, but does. Oh, my God. He just is just terrible. That's so unfortunate. Jorge Soler pooped on that baseball. All right, we're back. We're here. It's the here and now. Okay, good pop up. Nice. There we go. Let's go, Garcia. Travis Dardo, next up for the Braves. Blyer, back to work. Fouled off. He was late. And he's down 0 2 as he swings through it. Not looking like they'll be adding any insurance runs heading All right. The uh, slider, maybe? He's be on the bullpen to hold this lead. There we go. That's the third. Lays Joey knocks it down. I don't know if he's going to be able to make the play. He is. Let's go, Joey. Hell of a play there. All right. We keep it a one run game going into the bottom of the ninth. Can we walk this bad boy off against Tyler Matzik, who was just an animal in the playoffs last year? Jesus Sanchez, not a great matchup. Magic throws heat, too. Oh, and then he just throws a meatball slider to start the at-bat. I'm so terrified of his fastball. I could take. Last chance for your Marlins to come up with something here. Fingers crossed. Late mm. time Unfortunate. Well, just threw that fastball by him, elevated, and if you're not looking up in that location, very difficult to catch up to, especially with that velocity. Pops so out. Pop Darno going to be able to get to that? He Darno. is. All right, that's out number one in the bottom of the ninth. Got to get something going here, man. Obviously, well, Garcia is big in this situation, though. This is a really good matchup. I like it. He faces just makes everything slow down a little bit, and then from there can really settle in. Garcia That's not a strike. Oh my god, this umpire has just been atrocious. He's been so bad. Now we're 0-2 with Abasel. He's going for the uh, th three strikeouts in this game, potentially. Oh, 
And that is a strikeout. I need to go away from Joey Wendell here, too. I need to go to... Uh, let's go to Bryant Anderson in this situation, I think. Or no, Garrett Cooper? Can Jesus Aguilar? I guess we can go defensive subject. Or we're going to go to Garrett Cooper here. See if we can get something. And then uh, we'll go to a different defensive suggestion. I have to crush that. That was a fastball right down the middle of the plate. Just late and underneath it. That's a good pitch. Matzik's coming right at me. And then I watch it. Gosh dang it. That is not the opening day we were hoping for. Just not a better, not a good performance all around. Ronald Acuna saves the game in the eighth inning with a jumping grab from a perfect, perfect Jorge Soler rocket shot. And just like that, we lose, unfortunately, 2-1 to one to the Atlanta Braves. Charlie Morton had a hell of a game. Oh, thank God I didn't get no hit. Acuna hits a home run. Alex Dickerson has a double. Matt Olson has a double for us. Alcantara has a decent game. The seven hits, not great. Only gives up two earned runs, though. Brian De La Cruz with the lone hit, which is terrible. Got a lot of walks, though. It's okay. We'll bounce back. We'll be better in our next game. If you guys enjoyed this one, be sure to drop the video a like and also subscribe to the channel. Let me know in the comments what you want from this series moving forward. Do you want to edit it down more? Do you want quick counts? Just let me know. I think it's important to get that feedback as a creator. Please, please let me know in the comments. If you guys haven't already, feel free to follow me over on Twitch, TikTok, and Twitter. All those links are down in the description below. Until next time, guys, we'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.